Hi there, my name is Osher. I'm your student physical therapist for today. Um, do you mind asking uh, you what's your full name? Helga Drinkwine. Okay. And how do you prefer to be addressed? Helga's fine. Helga, okay. Um, Helga, what's your uh, date of birth? October 9th, 1994. Okay. And Helga, I noticed here that um, you were referred to us by um, the ER visit that you had for left leg pain, is that correct? Okay. All right. Um, so Helga, uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions and we're gonna go through this process together. This first process is gonna take about 15 minutes, basically just a conversation, it's an interview. We're just gonna talk about um, who you are as a person, um, who you are as a patient, get a better idea of what brought you into us today. Okay. Um, that being said, do you have any questions coming into this? Okay. Well, again, as I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, we can stop. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you do for your uh, for work. I work as a backup dancer uh, at SeaWorld. Okay. And uh, I wear a mascot costume. Awesome. That's fantastic. What's the mascot? It's a chipmunk. A chipmunk? And does the chipmunk have a name? His name's Punky. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a really entertaining job. Do you enjoy it? I do. Great. Um, you're wearing a costume that has to weigh something. How's that? Is it pretty heavy? Yeah, it's about 30 pounds. Okay. And um, you're dancing. How how long are your typical dance routines? About 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. And how many times are you doing that a day? Usually twice. Oh, okay. And um, how many days a week do you typically work? Five. Okay. And so since your injury, um, how has your injury affected your uh, ability to work? Um, I, I'm not really able to dance because of the pain. Um, and I, I just got hired as a trainer, actually. So I train the incoming costume dancers. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been really able to do that well. OK. Well, that sounds um, frustrating, I'm sure. Um, We'll definitely try to prioritize getting back to uh, dancing as one of your main goals, okay? All right, um, and um, can you tell me a little bit about your living situation? Uh, do you live in a house, an apartment? I live in a house. Okay. And do you have any stairs going up and down to your house? No. Okay, so it's on the uh, first story. Okay. And do you live alone? Yes. Um, and outside of work, um, what kind of exercise routines or hobbies or things you like to do for fun? Um, what kind of things do you do? Well, I do like to dance, but I have been trying to lose weight as well. So I started a running program eight months ago. Nice. And I feel like I was pretty consistent with it up till about I can hurt my leg. Okay, yeah. Um, have you found some success through that running program? Mm -hmm. Learned losing weight? Um, and at any point you want to discuss that with me, that's definitely something we could talk about. Um, I can give you some running tips. Um, do you like to run typically indoor or outdoors? Outdoors. Cool. Awesome. You have a favorite trail you like to go on? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Um, so again, you're coming into us with the left leg pain. Do you want, or can you please uh, describe where on the body that you're feeling um, the majority of that leg pain? Yeah, it's uh, in the back of my thigh right back of the thigh okay and does that go down towards your foot at all mm -hmm. so it stays kind of up there and does it go any higher does it go up into your buttocks no into your lower back up your spine at all towards the top of your to the back of your head mm -hmm. okay and um it stays on that right side or sorry left side yeah all right so it's not on that right side at all okay Okay, so I have this little body chart here. I keep track of what we just talked about. Um, does that look about right in terms of where I indicated your pain? Okay. Great. Um, so when you are experiencing uh, your symptoms and your pain, can you rate on a scale of 0 to 10? 0 meaning no pain at all. 10 meaning excruciating, worst pain you've ever imagined. Uh, can you tell me what you're feeling like right now in the clinic? Right now, a 1. You're about a 1? It's not too bad. Okay. And um, at its best, what do you feel like your rating is? I'd say sometimes it's a zero. Okay. So you are able to get that to have uh, no pain.
And at its worst? A six. Six. Okay. And what does that pain feel like for you? What does your symptoms feel like? Um, it, it feels kind of sore. Um, okay. Yeah. It's kind of sudden with certain movements. Mm. Okay. And so, um, when you are feeling your worst six out of ten pain, what are some things that you're doing to make that worse? Make that pain worse? Usually when I'm trying to dance. Okay. Um, and walk. Okay. So about how long into walking do you start to feel those symptoms come about? I'd say within two minutes. Okay. So pretty quickly. Um, and you are walking, you're doing, you're trying to dance. And about how long into stopping those activities uh, does, do those sim until those symptoms uh, come down a little bit? Mm, maybe within a couple of minutes. Okay. All right, and so what are some um, what are some tools that you've used in your life to uh, bring that pain down? What are some things that ease your pain? Um, usually, I rest okay. uh, or take the medication that was prescribed. Okay. Uh, and sometimes I use an ice pack. And out of the three of those, are any one better or? It's usually a combination. a combination. Okay, so you can use them all together. Um, we like to talk about how your pain changes if it does change throughout the day. Um, so starting in the morning, um, are you experiencing any symptoms right when you wake up? Uh, just a little bit of stiffness. I okay. Say. And uh, how long until that stiffness goes away, if it ever goes away? Uh, usually when I start moving, it kind of goes away. Okay, so moving. Do you have kind of like a time frame at all from when you wake up to when you and the stiffness resides? Maybe 10 minutes. Okay. And uh, throughout your day, um, how, does, how do your symptoms change, if at all? Um, I would say it gets worse with the more active I am. Okay, so worth, worse with activity. And you get home at night, um, you're trying to rest. How are your symptoms at that point? If I'm able to just kind of rest and lie down, um, yeah, it feels better. Okay. And does it affect your sleep at all? Do you have troubles going to sleep? <laughs> Any trouble staying asleep? Does it wake you up at night? No. Okay. Okay. And so I'm kind of going to work with this medical history form that you had filled out uh, as you were waiting. Um, and just to confirm, I noticed here that you had circled no for your family history. Um, and if we can go through that just really quickly, just to confirm. Uh, do you have any history or family history of cancer, diabetes, no. high blood pressure? No. Heart disease, no. stroke, no. or rheumatoid arthritis. No. Okay, fantastic. And um, I noticed here that you also um, indicated that you have anxiety. Uh, would you be comfortable sharing a little bit about what that anxiety means for you? Yeah. Um, so I, I haven't really been diagnosed, but I know that I do get it sometimes. Okay. Um, so. If I, if I feel like really anxious, I, I just try to center myself, um, try meditation sometimes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And um, how, does that meditation seem to be working pretty well for you? I feel like it is. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And if at any point you are feeling anxious in the clinic with me, um, please feel comfortable to speak about, uh, speak about it uh, with me. And if there's something that you want to talk more about with um, your primary care physician at all, um, just know that I could be a liaison between you and your primary care physician about it. So uh, feel free to use me as a resource is what I'm trying to say. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, and I also noticed here that you have, you said that you uh, uh, use alcohol. Would you tell me a little bit about that? How often do you drink a week? I'd say maybe like occasional happy hour. Okay. Yeah, with yeah. coworkers. Nice. Usually just, you know, go and get some martinis. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds uh, like a fun group of people. It's uh, the Sea World Dancers. That'd be a good entertaining event. Um, I also noticed here that you uh, said you had a hi history of a prior surgery. Would you mind uh, explaining that a little bit more for me as well? Mm -hmm. So um, I was a cheerleader when I was in high school. And um, when I was 18 years old, I had surgery in my hip on my right side. Okay, so right side hip. And just to clarify again, like um, with this current injury that you're in, 
for today. You haven't had any of those symptoms since, okay. And you feel pretty much completely healed from that surgery? Yes. Okay. Um, and since um, day one of your injury to today, uh, sitting in the clinic with me, have your symptoms changed? Have they um, not changed at all? I would say it's still at a one. Okay, so it hasn't changed um, from day one to today. Okay. And did you uh, seek uh, medical attention before coming in with me today? I did. Okay. Um, I went to the ER. Um, okay. And um, I was given an x-ray and an MRI. Okay. And I was told I had a hamstring strain. Hamstring strain. Okay. And... Um, is there anything else that came out of that ER visit that you'd like to share with me? I, I did start using crutches. Okay. I noticed those. I was going to ask about those. Um, we can talk about that in just a second if that's cool. Okay. And let's see here. I noticed that you were taking Movic as a medication. Um, could you tell me a little bit about um, that prescription for you? Usually to get once a day. Okay. Um, and like I think it's 10 milligrams. Okay. And was that prescribed to you at the hospital? How has that worked for you? You said it, it's one of your easy factors? I think it helps, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and I also noticed here that you um, said that you learn best by doing. Um, you're gonna be presented with a lot of information today, um, and I'm gonna try to give that to you in the best way that you can learn. Um, so could you explain a little bit about what um, that means for you? Yeah, so um, if I'm able to maybe be demonstrated an activity um, and practice it myself, I, I can learn it well. Okay, fantastic. I'll try to definitely make that uh, accommodation for you. Um, so give me a little bit about a little storyline to what happened uh, with this current injury. Um, what happened? So um, I, I was trying to hang a pot of flowers, mm -hmm. uh, like a hanging pot, and I, I stepped on another pot that was about three feet tall. <laughs> Uh, but I lost my balance, and I, at, as I was trying to land, my dog was underneath me, and so I just, you know, I didn't want to step on her, so I, I kind of landed in, in a weird lunge position, and mm -hmm. I felt, I just felt this pain in the back of my thigh, and I, I knew something was wrong. Okay, so you felt it, did you feel that pain immediate from that moment? Okay. And you said it was a three-foot fall? Yes. Okay. And did you seek medical attention right away? I did. Okay, so you went right to the ER. And um, so how long have you been using your crutches for? Since then. Uh, okay. So it's been about four weeks. Okay. And um, let's see here. What was the time frame that they gave you in terms of how long you should be using those for? I don't think I was told. Okay. So that's something we can talk about um, in terms of if you want to continue or if you needed to continue using them um, and if you have any questions about them. Um, I'd like to assess your gait today, um, so we will do that in the next portion. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Okay. Um, have you had any history of um, uh, physical therapy before? No. Okay. Um, um, I I do have a friend though that went to PT, and she said it was really painful. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, and I'm scared that I'm going to hurt my leg again, and yeah. I, I really want to be able to dance again. So. Okay. I don't know if I can do this. It's kind of why I put it off for some time. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And everybody has different experiences with their physical therapist. Unfortunately, it sounds like your friend had, didn't have a great experience. Um, I'm hoping that um, our relationship, hopefully, um, you're willing or you're open with me with what we're doing. If you have any sort of anxious feelings about a movement that we're going to perform or anything like that, that you just let me know, and we'll try to modify that for you. Um, and yeah, so just. Uh, yeah, ask questions while we're doing it, okay? Sounds good. Um, and so just to wrap some things up, I like to set some goals for a patient. Um, so it sounds like getting back to dancing is probably your number one. Do you feel that's correct? Yes. Okay. And um, I think running might be a great second goal for you. Do you also agree? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Can you think of any other activities that you might want to get back to doing um, that you currently feel like you're not able to fully do? Um, I think those two right now. Okay. Sounds good. Um, do you have any last minute questions for me? No, I think that's it. Great. Let's go ahead and get started with the next part of the um, exam.